Swing Effect CapCut Tutorial. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. In this very short and easy tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how you can basically add the swing effect in your CapCut videos. So uh, without further ado, let's get straight into it. So basically it's pretty easy. All you need to do is you're gonna go in effects, you're gonna go on ripple distortion, you're gonna add the ripple distortion effect into the video. And once you do, all you need to do is just copy the settings I've done. Take blur to zero, take twist to zero, take strength to zero, uh, take the speed to full, and uh, yeah, everything else should be zero. So uh, this is what it's initially, we're just gonna wait for the settings to load in. And uh, once it does, uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead. So yeah, that is basically how you add the basic swing effect. Now it obviously depends on your type of video. So here we go, yeah. So basically that's how easy it is. And if you wanna like edit it more per se, so all you're gonna need to do is uh, again, yeah, just go on your effects section and uh, just mess around with the settings as much as you can. But the settings I've used is initially the settings that's mostly used for the swing effect. So yeah, that's basically it. I hope that video is helpful to you. If it was, please drop down a like and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.